out at Cockatoo Island, you know, there's an amazing amount of history in terms of maritime industrial history. There's also um, some colonial history out here. But that really sort of interesting pre-contact history is, um, is missing or somehow been erased. So um, the, the two works I've proposed and have created, one in the tunnel and, and one out in this forecourt, was I guess in a way to redeposit some sort of um, signals towards um, remembering that Aboriginal history. One of them is a, a light map looking at the migration of um, longfin eels. So um, Sydney's got an amazing connection to, to eels. There's a lot of old ancestral stories about eels. Every year everyone would come together in this whole Sydney area and feast on eels because they sort of congregate together and then they migrate out to sea travel thousands of kilometres up to the Coral Sea where they spawn and their little babies come back down the eastern seaboard and repopulate all the estuaries again. And this work is just these fluoro lights that just sort of simply map their swimming paths that they, that they take. So middens, um, I guess, are sort of shell deposits. And middens in Australia, I guess, are signposts of, of families and, and, and generations of generations of, you know, thousands upon thousands of years of people living in one spot and having ownership, having, yeah, having a relationship to that place. In Sydney, there's no lime in the landscape, so they used to dig up middens, burn them, and use that as the, the mortar to actually um, create their sandstone buildings. So. The idea of making our own midden here and redepositing a midden um, into this site, you know, was something that really interested me. The midden's actually made out of oysters, which are again a sort of, um, you know, native food of Sydney, which is a really important food, and teacups. Yeah, so we've asked um, all the artists and curators and people involved to bring teacups. So this one's um, from a Chinese artist who's just arrived and. Um, has brought this one for me, which is fantastic. Tea was introduced, but it's become a really important part of a lot of Aboriginal families and a lot of Aboriginal ways of working. Sitting down with people, always having cups of tea, you know, it's always the first thing you do to sort of start, you know, a conversation, to start a dialogue. Because it is really, at the end of the day, about stories of linking people and about the way that we're all connected and connecting to this landscape. So, you know, so, so hopefully people will just gain something something small out of those ideas. Mm -hmm.